Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm out here doing some macro in the winter. Yeah, I thought I'd come out and kind of just photograph mushrooms and stuff, or whatever I can find, because I don't really do mushroom photography that much, or like mold or whatever you find in the winter. But yeah, I'm standing here because on this totally natural abundance of log here, I found uh, whatever that is, and these like black spiky things. As I said, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, so I don't even know what it is. I'm guessing it's some sort of mold. But yeah, I'm gonna photograph these like black spiky things first. They look, I've never seen mold like that before. That's kind of weird. I'll probably shoot with my Cygnus Tech setup, but I think some shots might look better without a flash. We'll see. Where well, this looks decent. I'm just doing the same technique as I do with the bugs where I kind of rest my arm on an object and move closer. Actually, I might change the aperture because um, I don't need a crazy aperture for this. So I'm gonna go to f5.6 and I'll go a little bit brighter on the flash as well. So I'm on like somewhere between 1 over 32 and 1 over 16 on the flash and f5.6. Yeah, I don't think that looks that great because um, obviously the subject is like really black and then the background is black. Yeah, it doesn't really stand out that much, but there's a couple here that I've kind of turned a bit white or gray and there's like a log in the background so it might look a little better this shot so i'll see how this looks oh yeah this looks kind of cool it's got like a bit of slime on it or something or like it's like slug juice yeah that looks quite nice there's quite a bit of texture in the background as well so it's yeah i don't know how that'll turn out on the computer but on camera it looks pretty good yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff here actually i think i will photograph this kind of like white ball mold but before that i think i'll there's some weird kind of, I don't know, it looks like zombie flesh or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Also, like, I feel like I shouldn't be touching any of this mold or whatever, whatever it is. I don't, I'm trying not to touch it, but anyone in the comments that is an expert on this, uh, let me know if it's safe to touch. I'm going to go uh, all the way to one to one for this shot. I'll probably go to one over 16, I reckon, because I've gone more magnified. It'll be a bit darker. Well, there's actually a little bug on it. I'm going to put my Rainox on and try and get more magnified and get a shot at this tiny bug. I didn't even see it until I was taking the photo because it's absolutely tiny. I'm going to try and get one on the same level as the creature thing. I'm not sure what it is. It's some sort of um, springtail maybe. Oh God, it's a bit hard to find it. It's actually, this is the smallest bug thing I've ever photographed, I think. I'll change the aperture because it is very small, so I do want it a bit more in focus. There he is. Yeah, that'll do for that, I think. So that's what I was photographing. There's my fingernail. I don't even think you can make out the bug. Um, see with my bare eye. I can't see with my bare eye either from here. The, uh, yeah, that is tiny. Literally, I haven't moved this whole video. I just, but I don't need to because there's mold everywhere around here. So yeah, there's these little like balls, I think they're called. I, don't know. I think that's the technical name for a bit of mold, a spool. Oh, cameraman's fell over. I'm gonna go F8 to start off with uh, 1 over 16. And I'm using the bracketing mode. I forgot to mention that. So my shirt speed's on 150. And that should be fine really, as long as I stay quite still. Now there's actually, it might be better to photograph these tinier ones. I think those ones actually don't look as good, to be honest. These smaller ones might be better. We'll just see if this exposure works. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's fine, like quite a nice little patch. I think over here looks quite congested, so I'll get this. God, it looks like some looks like some pearls or something. Very satisfying to look at. Hopefully those stacks turn out well. I mean, they're not moving, so it's a lot easier than photographing bugs. All right, so I've literally just moved from there to here. Uh, I'm photographing more of these white ball things. Um, but I'm taking the Rainox off because these, these ones are a lot bigger, but there's a lot more in this kind of area, so it might look a di bit different. It's kind of hard to see if it's in focus or not because it's kind of like a blurry, wet mess. It's kind of good they've got the bracketing thing because it means I'll get at least one shot in focus. I think I'll get like the bits on the end here. I'll use my screen so I don't have to bend over. I might go, back, I might go like 5.6 and then flash up to 1 over 64.
That looks good. The flash performs a lot better on 1 over 64 because obviously it's a lower power. All right, I've just found some like little mushroom poking up the side of this log here. It looks fairly intact. This one might be a shot without the flash. We'll see what it looks like with flash first. So I'll shoot this portrait. I'll try flash first, see what that looks like. It might be good to shoot low down and get some of the detail in the mushroom. It looks a little better than I thought, to be honest. I didn't think the flash would be that good. Usually if a, a subject's quite big or in an awkward spot like this, it usually looks better without flash, I'd say. I could use my tripod for this, but I am a bit lazy. I'll go to F4, so I'm a bit brighter. Um, ISO, let's try ISO 800. I could probably lower my shutter quite a bit, to be honest, because I can lean my camera against the, the log, which means the camera's not moving. I'm going to try 1 over 50, which is really slow because I can get my camera pretty much dead still on this log, it should be fine. There's actually like a spider web hanging uh, down onto it. So I'm gonna kind of com compose the image to include that. And I'm taking loads of images because I'm on 150 shutter, so one of the images could be blurry. And by shooting loads, then that means one of them should at least be in focus. Yes, there's not a whole lot in focus in that shot, but I think the composition is quite nice and the light looks a, a little bit better without flash, in my opinion. I can actually get a much better composition from this side because there's no log here, so I can get a lot closer to the, the side, which means I kind of get a, a nicer background. But I've got nothing to leave my camera on, so I've got to kind of be steady here. I think I've got image stabilization turned off. I'm going to turn it on because it will help a lot if I'm shooting on 150 shutter. Yeah, so I don't know if any of those are in focus, but um, by shooting a load, hopefully one of them's in focus. All right, so I've just flipped a log over, this tiny log. And there's like a weird centipede millipede thing. Centipede, yeah, centipede. Get a picture quickly before it moves, because these things are usually quite fast. I've got like a, a collage of bugs here. All right, now I've got that. I'm going to shoot on one to one. So now one to one, and I'm going to get that centipede. Oh, now he's moving. That's why I've got to act fast because they're usually kind of sleeping, I think, when you roll the log over and then they kind of wake up. There's no way I'm going to get a shot of that now. He's running really fast. I just noticed these kind of eggs down here. I don't know what eggs they are. It's just like a little white ball of eggs there. One over 32 on the flash. 150 shutter, f7.1, bracketing mode. That should do. Actually, it looks, it looks pretty cool. And um, I'm not entirely sure what they are. They might be like wood louse eggs or something. Yeah, anyone in the comments, let me know. Um, I think before I move on to the next location, I'm just going to get a quick picture of this wood louse here because it's been still the whole time. I'm going to have to roll the lug over a bit more so I can get the angle. Yeah, that should do for that wood louse. Got like a nice little portrait there. I'll roll the log back over because they want to go back to sleep now. Here we have a stump. <laughs> yeah, so here we have a tree stump thing. And uh, yeah, there's this like lichen looking stuff on it. And there's these little kind of spooly bits coming out. It's all these weird words for like foresty, moldy stuff. Like what's a spool, spool. As you can see, it's a bit hard to get my camera in there with this diffuser on. All right, so I literally just turned around and uh, had a little inspection of this log and I saw this weird pink sort of red slime. So we're gonna kind of look at that and see if we can get a good photo. I'm gonna have to like squash my diffuser. I'm gonna shoot someone on F9, I think. I'm gonna have to F8 actually. Oh, I had to like squash my diffuser against the log to kind of get it close there. Maybe these lower down ones might be a bit easier, I don't know. There's less log in the way, I think. 
It's about as close as I can get because my diffuser's kind of in the way. But that looks really cool. I've never seen that actually in person. These, um, I've seen them pictures online. But I've never actually seen it with my own eyes. So that's a first for me. And that's quite a nice shot as well. I like that. All right, so for this shot, I'm going to go for kind of an abstract close-up of a mushroom underneath kind of texture. That looks nice. I got a bit of the kind of glow coming through the uh, the top of it as well. So it looked like the sort of like sun coming through it, which is pretty cool. I don't know when optimal uh, kind of mushroom season is, but these ones do seem a bit kind of dilapidated. There's this here, which I quite like. There's um, kind of like a, a hole in this side of this mushroom and there's spider web coming across to this smaller one here. Yeah, I think this shot might be better without a flash and kind of zoomed out a little bit. Well, when I say zoomed out, I mean less magnified. Uh, it'd be good to get kind of like a low angle here, get some depth. Go to ISO 800, shutter speed, I'll try and use 100, and then aperture, I'll try F4. The sky is obviously white, um, and the spider web's white, so I'll kind of want the green or brown um, in the background. I'm actually bracketing this. Hopefully that comes out well in post-processing. So I've just found this like mossy log and there's these tiny kind of mushrooms on it. So I think, yeah, they have quite nice detail underneath. So, and because they're small, I can kind of get a good shot with this diffuser. Oh, the cameraman, cameraman had a holly bush on his face. Ooh, it's quite nice. I love the detail on the mushrooms, like the, the texture. I just photographed that one, but I don't think it looked that good. But um, I like this one because I get these tiny little mushrooms on the right and then obviously the big ones on the left. And there's a bit of green in the foreground, so it's, there's a lot more going on in this shot. And then I'm just gonna like kind of stabilize here by holding the log. We're 116 on the flash. I'm gonna zoom out a tiny bit as well. I keep saying zooming out, but you know it's not zooming out, it's changing magnification. Try and get the whole bunch in. I should do, I think. All right, so that's it for today's video. I think my this flash is sort of, um, sort of running out of power now. And uh, I've taken like thousands of images. Um, but yeah, I don't usually do mushroom photography. So if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, let me know in the comments. Um, but with all that said and done, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.